Mikey, freestyle. Everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Jay. Welcome, welcome back. back. Shout out to Ico and James. Thank you guys for being our new patrons. Patreon.com slash Family Mart Pod to get instant access to exclusive content and our private Discord. This week, we have a, a special one. We got a mukbang. Um, specifically, a challenge that Germ tried to conquer. I mean, I, I guess we could spoil it and say that, you know, he did. <laughs> he was very close to finishing 60 nuggets in Man. one hour. Pretty close. He beat his record. I really think there's no fries in there. I would have been straight. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I think that's where you yeah. fucked up, dude. Yeah. I think I, think uh, I would have got 69, no fries for sure. Easy. You yeah. think one large fry is 19 more? I th- Maybe 20, man. It's just extra like salt and fry, like it's fried just, shit. Yeah, it's just taking up so. extra room, you know? You know what I was thinking the other day? What? Because you know Jared said, he don't, I don't know if I did the did 50 when I was a kid. I think when he was a kid, you were able to order 50 nuggets. Yeah, I do remember, remember that. The 50 yeah. piece? I do remember that. But there's no way he was finishing yeah. it. Oh, sitting, so let alone splitting it amongst the group. I swear I, yeah, swear I ate that. Because I remember it came in a big-ass box. No, for sure. That. Eating that whole we're thing. not denying that it that you were able to order 50, but yeah. there's no way you ate 50. You think my mom like just took out some? Probably, yeah, bro. Probably she's, there's she no did. way she's going to let you she take out some. I definitely took some. Yeah, she took some out, and I thought I ate 50. I really feel like I ate 50, though. I swear, dude. 50 nuggets is a lot of nuggets, man. Yeah. Well, the challenge is to finish 60 nuggets in one hour. I guess the the play is to do a nugget every minute. Yeah. But Germ did 30 in like six minutes. <laughs> yeah, I and just finished editing it, and it was like 30 at like seven and a half minutes. Yeah, that's he crazy, was going bro. in. And he finished a, the whole large fry. He had hella sauce, hella ketchup. The game, the game plan was to eat as much as you can within twenty minutes, because apparently in twenty minutes, that's when your stomach tells your brain that you're full, and it and it starts to make you nause, uh, nauseated, if that's even a fucking word. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it didn't work out, man. Do you think you could do like if you timed each nugget like one minute each? Like, all right, eat the first nugget takes thirty seconds, and then the other thirty you rest. And I don't then know. Next I, nugget thirty seconds. I think mm-hmm. I'm down to try that out. Just to see if it works, because we might we might be we might be able to hack something new, break break some type of science. Nah, I don't know, because after the at the end, you're like, I don't know if my body's gonna be alright. <laughs> yeah, he was worried that his body wasn't gonna be good. And now you showed up here, and your hair is blue. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this shit looks like you came out the Powerade. Yeah, I was dying, man. I went to a I went to a fight. I went to watch an amateur fight, and uh, my stomach was fucked up the whole time, bro. Yeah, I'm sure it was. That's yeah, a lot of food, yeah. man. Couldn't shit, bro. When I when I try to shit. Nothing came out. Yeah. You know, That's like, crazy. Man. Yeah. It's a lot of high Nothing fructose corn syrup. Yeah, yeah I thought it has syrup. fiber in it, right? Chicken you nuggets? Think, you think chicken nuggets got fiber in it? No chicken nuggets got fiber in it? <sighs> Shit, they probably I don't got, think it has anything in I it. Think they yeah. got 5G. <laughs> yeah, it's got that 5G, <laughs> got the 5G dog. 5G, yeah. I definitely feel like 5G <laughs> 5G. <after> that shit. <laughs> 5G? 5G, bro. <laughs> now that's cringe. <laughs> uh, 5G, bro. My 5G. Bad. So if you guys want to see Germ try to attack or tackle 60 nuggets in an hour, hit the Patreon um, and let us know Let us know if you could do. Yeah. I feel like everybody, before they try the challenge, I feel like everybody could. Every, everybody feels like they could complete the challenge. Except me, of course. I, I already know. You just don't want to, though. No, I know I can't. That's I'm, I know how I'm going to feel, man. I f- I'm going to feel like shit. I had two chicken sandwiches that day during the mukbang. or the like mukbang. I feel like shit. So, and I that's, feel that. It's not even close to 50 Yo, nuggets, you 60 did, nuggets. You can say you can eat some more wings with it, too. Remember? Yeah, I thought I thought I was going to get a side of five wings, but I'm glad I didn't because I'd be, I'd be out of here. Is, yeah. it, is it true that you think the Wingstop sandwich is the best sandwich in the market? I'd say so, yeah. Wingstop definitely has the best chicken sandwich out of all the places that offer chicken sandwiches, yeah. like Jollibee, yeah. Chick Fil A, Popeyes, Popeyes, Popeyes. Wow, that's KFC, so KFC. I haven't even tried the KFC, but I just know Wingstop is shit. Burger KFC. King. Uh, do they do a chicken sandwich? Oh, yeah, they, they've always had a chicken sandwich, but I it's not like the yeah. it's not like the ones that's 
hot right you're now. talking about the long yeah. one no, but long they one, tried yeah. one and said it was criminal yeah remember, remember oh that's right it? yeah we yeah, were yeah. so mad we want our money back yeah that shit was terrible bro <laughs> we want our money back we want yeah, the, the og back. and it, i think it's called the original chicken sandwich that shit is gas the the long one the long one <laughs> right but they did they did like a um <laughs> they tried to like the long one get with the times yeah and that shit was that shit was bad that's terrible burger yeah. king if you yeah. listen to this get it off the menu if it's all right i've been in since then so and if you can give us some money back because <laughs> I'm real, dead that ass like that was terrible, that was the worst chicken sandwich yeah. I ever had. Bro. So Winks, I I would be down to to take Wingstop to all the restaurants and and do a one on one blind taste test with anybody. I feel like they're take they're taking Wingstop nine times out of ten, <laughs> ten times out of ten. Yeah, I believe that because it's just it's uh they got it down, man. You know, yeah, they got it down. Wingstop sponsor the pod, please. This is like we. <laughs> You know how many people, <laughs> you know how many people DM us every day saying that they yeah. get winked up because of us. Yeah, I get winked up because of us. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking past tense, dude. I get winked up because up. of us. <laughs> winked up. I'm five, man. I know, man. I was <laughs> born in the Philippines. Fabaho. <laughs> Fabi, fuck. That's a nice jacket, though. I fuck with that. Yeah, man. Heavy. I, I, I know never, it's hot in here. I never seen you wear that. Is that new? I just wore it like yesterday. Mm. Who yeah. is it? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I see my dad wear it. <laughs> yeah, you seen your dad I wear it. I seen my dad wear it, and I was like, yo, let me get that. And he's like, well, first I said, where'd you get that? He's like, you know so and so? And I was like, nah. And he's like, she's from Pahrump or something. She gave it to me. I was like, where are her? Can I have it? He oh. fucking hit it. Like I think he just put it on because he had just like got it dry clean. Yeah, wearing it around the house, yeah. trying it out. Yeah, here's a funny thing, right? So today I seen a brown leather jacket mm. that would look better than this. One. <laughs> You're like, you know what? Let's let me. Can I get that one too? And I was like, damn, dude. I, that's why he was so quick to give this one. Up. <laughs> he had a better one. In, in yeah, the, he had a fi- like a one. Was way now more when you fire. ask for that one, he it's easy for him to say no. I just gave you that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't even attempt it. I was like, you know, I'm cool. I got the, you know, I got the designs on it the side. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks, looks good, man. It looks good. Yeah, if it's well. fire. What, what really set it off is this. Yeah, the little like the aviator fur. style. Yeah. yeah, it's like an aviator style, but it's got like the uh, native like influence. On yeah, it. it's yeah. fucking dope. It's yeah. from us. Uh, what is this? Saddle Saddle West, Pahrump, Nevada. Okay, Hell yeah. So sounds handmade. It does. Mm. I don't know what Saddle West is, but I'm assuming they make saddles. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. That's a good yeah. assumption, actually. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Real yeah, good yeah. context clues. Yeah. I see you, man. They, <laughs> okay. Because I mean, look at this. This leather ain't fake, bro. This shit is, and in the inside? Is that real fur? Oh, no, Saddle West. Saddle West is actually a casino. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's not bad, though. It's not it's bad. It's the casino's merch. <laughs> it is. Well, we're going, I mean, either way, if yo, that's yo, casino's merch, for the members, yeah, it's fire. This is when you yeah. gamble too much. They hand you yeah. this $100 yeah. jacket, yo. Yeah, that's yeah. the platinum tier. How much you think this is, Jay? Just looking at it. Like, like it, to if, make? Yeah, without the, without, the, without the Saddle West joint, like if you saw this at like a cowboy joint, like a, like a, if I saw it, didn't touch it or nothing, I saw it at like a cowboy store, I would assume they were selling it for like 200 Yeah, I would <sighs> say that. I agree with that. Yeah. It, it looks, looks good. good yeah, it looks it like looks people good. have sat on the on them leathers. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do, is that what people do? No, I don't know. I was trying uh, to make like a, a saddle got you, got you, got you. reference. I thought, I thought, that's, I thought that was yeah. common practice for no, like making it. really bad. Well, I thought, well, do you know how to make uh, like leather jackets? No, it's really hard to, to mess with leather using like a normal machine. You have to have a specific machine. Yeah. So. It's hard work. Yeah. So, I mean, it's probably costs at least a hundred bucks. There's this cool minimum account on TikTok that he like breaks down, uh, like luxury bags, the, the le- leather of luxury bags and says like how much it actually costs. Mm. And it's like something that people might pay like 3000 for probably maybe costs like after labor $300 to make. So it's crazy markup. Yeah. It's crazy. Like some of these like Louis V bags, like, um, when I see the price tags on them, and I was just like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, like, how, like, how do you drop that much money for? Like, I look, I'm not shaming nobody that loves bags, right? Mm. And pre- and pays premium prices for bags, but man, that's a lot of money, bro. <laughs> it's a lot of money to hold your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, you know, that is a lot of money to hold <laughs> your, money. your money. But I'm a regular. You know, I don't have, I don't really have it like that. So yeah, and maybe one day you. One day you will. Oh, for sure. One day I will. Uh, like you know, I'm, I'm right now. I'm Canal Street copping the bags. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, After, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to be. You know, I'm gonna be in Fifth. I'm gonna be on Fifth Avenue copping right. the bags. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. After the show pops off for you, 
That's yes. where you, that's where you'll be at. That'll be tight. You want to tell people tight. about your new your new show? Yeah, man. Um, I mean, one shouts to y'all for pushing me. Y'all been pushing me for like a year, two years to do like a sports podcast. Uh, which we finally did the first episode last week. It's called Talking Talk. It's okay. <laughs> Redo. No, it's called Talking About Practice. Uh, uh, just kind of like an ode to Allen Iverson when they were kind of grilling him for missing practice. Mm. But um, yeah, basically, it's a, it's a sports show. Um, right now, we're kind of you know seeing what works and what doesn't. But uh, basically, what I really want to do is get into like uh, you know topics that don't really get a lot of light mm-hmm. or ones that um, I can kind of like uh, maybe talk about something that... Um, might get overlooked you know what i'm saying so uh it's gonna be fun because you know as as a student uh at the university of miami studying sports uh, administration we're definitely tapping in the, into subjects way deeper than uh what you see like on some of these networks gotcha so it's it's pretty cool uh, i got a lot of ideas um jay has a bunch of ideas for i mean you you got some ideas too so uh we're just gonna see where it goes and uh hopefully it turns into something crazy um you know we'll see man you might yeah. see me at the super bowl who knows that'd be insane oh, yeah. i'll be there too because i'll be filming him oh yeah, yeah that's true i'm a shredditor man <laughs> do you want to do it <laughs> like, i'm like man you don't even care about the super bowl I don't. well listen if you want to take on that role i mean i'd be i'd be happy if they, to if they get the plus one bro you'd rather take jay no i mean it's not a rather who i take but i mean if if jay's like Answer the question, man. No, nah, he was he he was. Fuck, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking no, about no, every time. No, I, I get no, I get no. But, but you, it's you and Jay's show. Like you're the you're you're, yeah. you're you're the the center, and Jay's is lobbing you the the you know he's lobbing it. Yeah, he's, he's producing, he's dropping all the assists, yeah. and um, you know, but it's it's dope, man, because like uh, I just started, I just dropped like a clip today uh, about one of the segments, and um. You know, you you know how sometimes you gotta leave stuff out, so that way it creates conversation. Mm. So it definitely worked. Uh, it drew some people in to talk about it. Um, even though a lot of the things I had said in the full episode, it created a conversation where I was able to kind of go back and forth with some people. Yeah, and it's dope because that's what sports is usually all about. You know, it's having that conversation with someone you don't know, and you you glue together through sports. So it's pretty dope. It's probably the most engagement I've gotten besides like a fire yeah, uh, emoji. emoji. It's usually, now it's like a paragraph <laughs> of like what they feel or yeah. trying to scoop me with some game. And I'm like, for sure, like I, I got you, you know? So it's dope. Um, Shouts to everybody that's seen it. If you haven't yet, um, it's on the Family Mart uh, Podcast Network. It's called Talking About Practice. Yep. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, go check it out, man. I think uh, I think the first episode went well and I think it was well received, at least for the from the, for the people that seen it yeah and i'm excited to see what you guys do i like like you said I've, we've been trying to get you to do your own thing for a long time long time yeah so yeah and you're natural man yeah it's just hard to see it you know when other people tell you yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think we talked about it last i week. think it took somebody else to tell you <laughs> yeah you know it kind of takes other people to tell you no, like everyone else like be like yeah, you're we, natural, talked about la- yeah, yeah. we talked about last week yeah you know yeah, sometimes the, it takes another person to it's tell not you. the message yeah. It's the messenger. messenger. It's the yeah. messenger. So it's dope, man. Shouts, shouts to you guys though for pushing me because I'm excited. I'm like motivated to uh to keep going. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like uh, you guys are doing all the brunt work, so I, I'm just in front makes of the camera. Makes it easier. Oh yeah. man, it makes it so much easier. <laughs> yeah, bro. so much easier. You just have to show up. Hey, you didn't even have to move anything from the nah, table. I just, Damn. <laughs> You call me, you're like, you got two minutes? I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, well, I moved the table. I didn't know if you were attached to it or nothing, but I moved in and I put yeah. something else there. I was yeah. like, for sure. Like, <laughs> okay. I just show it. up. I just show up, man. Yeah. It's dope. No, nah, it was, it was, uh, you, it's probably not on camera or maybe we did have it on camera. What? Uh, when we were setting up the first episode and then like I sat down in the chair and then you were like fixing my headphones. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, I was put the, on your the, headphones. Yeah. Or, and yeah. I was, yeah. The lights were on and yeah. it was like five. Four, three. <laughs> I felt like you were on ESPN. Yeah, I was like, yo, this is legit, bro. <laughs> yeah. so, it's, we're a real network, dude. Yeah. We are, man. We're, real we're a real network. FMPN. Yeah, FMPN, dude. It's just gonna keep adding more. <laughs> <laughs> just keep going, dude. It's nope. the FMPNS, dude. Yeah, FMPN. No, this, was, this was always the vision, at least for me. Uh, I just always saw us 
becoming a network and having many shows under the umbrella. Whether it's another podcast or maybe some different segments yeah. with these mukbangs, I think that's c- could be a whole another avenue for us um, because we do like to eat, so we might as well make money from it, you know? True, man. True. So I didn't know that uh, mukbang was just uh, eating a lot of food. I thought it was the I ASMR. I don't know it's necessarily yeah, what it means. What does it mean? I have Can no you look idea, it up? Real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, Jerm. Yeah, because my when, when I thought it was just watching was a lot of food. Eating. I was like, damn, I don't know if I. Could you eat. thought it was just like people like eating on the mic, like I'm not, I'm not I, gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, like with the fuck yeah. people up. But, so according yeah. to my Googles, it's a South Korean thing. A video, especially one that is live streamed, that features a person eating a large quantity of food and addressing the audience. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what we do. Yeah, that's pretty much what we do. Might not be large quantities it's large for me well there you go large is subjective yeah how many wings did you i attempted 20 (laughs) how many did you finish 13 the 20 wings is a lot though it's not bad for you because you have fries too right and i have and 13 is is more than the usual because you usually get like 10 Yeah, 13 is larger than large yeah but i'm gonna come clean i tried to eat 20 chicken nuggets yesterday and failed (laughs) (laughs) what Yo, Jay just tried, <laughs> or was it part of the you, you guys? Just no, that was just uh, that was just uh, practice f- freelanced, yeah. <laughs> freelance. Yeah, freelance nuggets. <laughs> Hold on, like from McDonald's. Yeah, I pulled up. I was like, I, I'm gonna get ten, but ten sounds wimpy compared to what Germ just did. So let me order another ten, and I got. It. I was like, so you got it because you felt ashamed of ten. <laughs> That's crazy that we're here right now. The number five is, is supposed to come with, it only comes with 10. So I was I like, know, well. But that's like, yeah, that's because 10 is like more than enough for you. With a large fry and a drink, what'd you get, for, what'd you get to drink? Coke. Actually, it's right. Wait, actually, I don't remember. Probably a Coke. <laughs> yeah, after you ate 20, you're like, fuck, I don't know what like, I'm doing. I was <laughs> full for like eight hours. <laughs> How many did you finish? I finished them all, but I was like, oh. I wanted to stop at probably 16. Wow. How about this, man? Let's, let's, let's try this. Mm. Let's see if you could eat 20, 20 nuggets or 30 nuggets, 50, whatever. Damn. But we take the breading off. Ew. Oh, my God. It's going to take a minute. And as long dude. as I got sauce. It's just bread. It's Ooh. just the chicken. Just chicken. The naked chicken? <laughs> Someone's got to eat that, though. The it's bread. one person's eating the <laughs> chicken. <laughs> the <other laughs> <person's> eating <laughs> the, skin. the bread. The fu- Is that? I thought it was breading. That's skin? Uh, that's that's breading. Nah, it's breading, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's breading. That ain't no skin, man. I ain't never seen a chicken <laughs> shape like that, dude. They're all there's four shapes. <laughs> this is what this is my favorite nugget right here, man. <laughs> the L, the I don't know. get how many I like show the up S. like this. I like the S, yo. S? Yeah, is there an S, S shape? There? Yeah, there's an S there's shape. There's an S shape. A little I feel curvy. like the L is more more common than the S though. Do you like the round no one likes the oval joint? The round joint? I don't oh, really know if I like the oval office. It's too simple. Or how about the 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 rectangle with a little bit indention in the middle? I don't think I know that one. It's oh, like a, I know that one. The one that's almost like a <laughs> like we're door. describing them. Make it, it makes it sound like they're collectibles. See, they got the well, bone. Kind of like, you <laughs> the ever bell? seen this one? The, the, the boot. The boot oh, is my boot. favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think of it as boot. I actually think of it as like a stocking. Like mm, the okay, see, yeah. yeah I, I thought there was like an S yeah, shape. Some Christmas yeah. vibes. No, there's yeah. no S shape, bro. You're tripping. Oh, the boot was what I thought was. Damn, dude. My eyes are fucked up. The boot or the boot? The boot. Okay. Yo, the other day, somebody dropped off uh, some flowers and goldfish. What? It, flowers, goldfish, and animal crackers at my door. Like, randomly. No note. Mm. Just straight up. Still in the Smith's bag. Uh, you know what that was? What? That was fucking Instacart. They just t- yeah. took it to the wrong house. Well, I was, th- I was thinking mm. it's, it was for grandma. Yeah, it's a little I, too specific. Because I made a video saying that grandma's favorite snacks are goldfish and uh, animal crackers. Oh, but fire. They, they know where you live, though? Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I feel a little weird about it, because there was no note, and it, the, the anonymity? An- anonymity. Anonymity. Yeah. anonymity. It being anonymous is yeah. what f- made me feel a little weird, because I don't know that if it was a neighbor, crazy. or was it somebody that just came through and found my address? Like, Because you could Google... Well, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say that, but like you could find anybody's <laughs> address. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> they would help no key, that's what note. I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah. If there, it would help if there was a note. Well, they definitely heard you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I, it didn't, it didn't. It's funny that it didn't hit me because every time I, where, where, where grandma comes over, that's the snack she brings. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. think it was? It could have been one of your neighbors. It could have been. I just like to know who it is, man. I just don't like yeah. n- like not knowing who it is. Yeah. I feel um. It. And I'm pretty sure they didn't leave a note on purpose because they wanted to just remain anonymous. What if they yeah. did leave a note, but that shit just blew away in the wind? Could have been, man. I, I hope that's what the case. I hope that's the case. Otherwise, like, 
I don't know how to feel about it. Like I'm grateful, obviously, that somebody would take the time to do that, but yeah. because it's like I, it, there's, it's just so I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, you don't know who to thank. I don't know who to thank. Don't I don't know, know what to think. Yeah, you don't know what to think. What yeah. would, you, how, would you guys feel weird about that? Of just, course, yeah, yeah, I would definitely yeah. feel weird. It's, of and they dropped off a specific gift, so it's like for grandma specifically. Yeah, you know? it, y- y'all ever heard the story or seen the Netflix The Watcher? Mm-mm. So it's like about basically. Um, this family moves into this house and they keep getting letters from an anonymous person that's watching them. Damn. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, and then the, uh, the person also is specific in the sense of they know the the, the kids, what they do, um, their names, uh, what their schedules are like, everything. They knew everything about them, but they no one knows where these letters would came, come from. That's and scary. to this day, they haven't figured it out. Yeah. Oh, it's like a real story. It's a real yeah. story. The Netflix one, I believe, is like, they took that shit to the next level. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I, I definitely don't believe a lot of the shit that was on the Netflix joint. But the story, in a sense, in a nutshell, is someone's watching the people that live in that house. Yeah. Yeah. For a few days after, I felt like I was being watched, for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't like, like that. Like, every time like I walk out of the house, I'm like, oh, here we go, man. Yeah. This is... And they... I, I'm a, I, I would hope that they had good intentions. And they probably do. They're like, you know what? It's probably better I don't say who I am. So right. they're not freaked out. But it mm, actually... It, it made it worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is what you do when you walk out. If you want to show gratitude, just... Just yeah, start walking to your car. Crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and my cool. mom was like, she was, and I guess this is going public too, but she was like, you should probably go on your Instagram and say thank you. But I'm like, I don't want to bring attention to it like that. And then, uh, and then other people are like, oh, he's bringing a spotlight to people who randomly deliver stuff. Maybe I should deliver some stuff. Like yeah, I don't want right. random it's encouraging the, the a different thing. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want people to like randomly send me stuff or come to the house at all. What if it was Thanks. fucking goldfish brand? And fucking, I'm pretty sure they would have definitely sent it in the Smith's in the grocery Smith's bag. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you have a, you have a shit ton of goldfish and animal crackers in the next, and some napkins. Yeah, if you have too much, I'll take the Parmesan ones. The yeah. Parmesan goldfish. Yeah. Does she fuck with those? Nah, she only likes the regular goldfish. Uh, yeah, any flavor ones I'll take. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we could just bring it to the stew. For sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what she eats at my house, and I don't know if this is against her diet, but she'd be going in with the shrimp chips, dog. Yes. Yeah. She likes any chips, really. Like okay. she, she'll fuck with anything. Yeah. But um And McDonald's. Sorry guys. And I mean, McDonald's. I know, that's not, I know. that's our fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good though. We should have her try the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine grandma the eating. She could probably out eat me. Yeah, she probably, she could probably do. do it, bro. <laughs> if someone's like helping her eat, she could definitely finish a lot of stuff. But um That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Grandma's an interesting creature, man. Yeah. It's crazy because grandma's like what, ninety six? Six? Yeah. I feel like she's been 96 like the last four years. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, every time I feel, guess yeah. for the last it's, four years, I'm like, it's, it's crazy to think about for as long as I've been alive, grandma's been old. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I've never seen her young. Never. I've always seen her with gray hair and wrinkles. That's why yeah. I'm saying those pictures, man. Like I had to look at those. Yeah. Like, and I was fucking like in awe. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? You've never seen crazy. grandma like yeah. that. Yeah. But I do remember grandma being active because she taught me how to play baseball. Oh, you seen her to play baseball? Yeah, she she used to go in the backyard with me and she'll like throw like either a ball. If you have a ball, she'd pick off like a pear from the tree and throw the pear at How me. would she throw it? Like underhand or overhand? Yeah, probably under. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's crazy to even think about grandma being a, even just a little bit active. Yeah. It's it's hard yeah. to imagine. Well, she was fucking getting it, man. Like, yeah, I'm sure. He was out there playing baseball, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. But, to I mean, think about. it's it's what I was what I was trying to say was look, McDonald's ain't that bad for you. <laughs> That's what his point was. <laughs> She's 96. That's the ultimate point. <laughs> and she been eating can't McDonald's be that like bad. every week. I can't bro. wait till talking about practice gets sponsored by McDonald's. That would be crazy, wow. bro. Yeah. That wait, when you stop at McDonald's? Well, know, they're not in competition, so I think you could have both. You have both, yeah, man. They're not amazing. competitors, right? Yeah, I one, mean, one's chicken, the other one's not. <laughs> it's fact. <laughs> other ones At least good. you admit it. Other yeah, one's ribs. Man. Other one's ribs? That's why, yeah. that's why I never say chicken nuggets. What do what you, you say? say? McNuggets. McNuggets, man. McNuggets, yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm going to get a 20-piece McNuggets. Yep. Yeah. That shit sounds fucked. I'm going to get I don't a 20-piece. I'm going to just say, I'm get the 10-piece. Let me get the 10-piece McNuggets. <laughs> what other plate, what other plate, like, what other thing can you get 10-piece, 20-piece, 40-piece at McDonald's? Absolutely nothing. They know what you mean. Yeah, they know what you mean, man. You get a 40-piece. You're not get getting 40-piece <laughs> McRib. It would be crazy if you had to order fries like that. Let me get like the 60-piece <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> do you guys remember the shake fries at Burger King? Yes. Like they give you the, the fries, fries yeah. and they'll give you like the seasoning. You throw it in the bag and then you shake it up. Yeah. I remember yeah. that what? shit. Yeah, man. That's tight. 
I didn't have it at Burger King, but in Japan it was at McDonald's. And it was called the Shaka Fries. That's what they. I think that's what they were called, right? At the McDonald's. Shaka I mean, at, the, at, at Burger King. I don't remember what they was called. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> uh, Shaka Fries. Shaka Fries. <laughs> The shock of fries, bro. The shock of fries. I guess they handed whole. you like this. <laughs> whole bra. Whole bra. You ordered this. Whole bra. All right, man. Aloha. <laughs> happy Aloha, man. It's a white dude. <laughs> what do you say? Happy, happy Aloha. aloha. <laughs> happy Aloha, dudes. <laughs> Yo, happy Thanksgiving, man. By the time yeah. you're listening to this, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Well, I yeah. guess if you listen to these when they come out, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But before that, we're going to have a Friendsgiving, which is going to be my first Friendsgiving, and I'm excited because I'm bringing something. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to see what you bring. I don't have friends, man. This is also my first Friendsgiving, and I have friends, but it's my first Friendsgiving. Is this Friendsgiving or yeah. Cousins Giving? Mm, it's uh, not Friendsgiving. It's Friendsgiving. Yeah, because, yeah. It is. Br- it- She's well, our friend. Yeah, yeah. She's our friend. So yeah. it's a friend. Friends giving. Yeah. yeah. Are you bringing some? Oh, you're bringing something. Yeah, man, Are you, the Magneto. You bringing something, Jerry? I don't know, man. I might just bring some chips. Nah, God. Man. that's not what it is, bro. I don't know how to. <sighs> that's not. What I don't it. know how to cook. Listen, man, just buy something. I just saw you yeah. bring egg bites. He didn't make those though. Or corn dogs. Oh, I might. I might. I'm, look, I'm gonna just give away what I'm about to do, but I might order some empanadas. Okay. Okay. There some we empanadas go. that fire. Our homie Dave bought one time. Yeah, fire. Super good. So Never had good. anything kind? better than where, that. Where from? Like all I don't types. No, they're um, close by around here though. Like Filipino empanadas? Nah, nah, they're. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, bro. Peruvian? I got follow them on Instagram, but yeah, they're fire though. Well, either way, I can't. Nice. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try everybody else's food. I know Jay's got to cook something up. I'm excited to try Merz's Magneto. Mm-hmm. Once again, not try. I'm about to. I'm, I've we've tried it plenty of times. This is gonna be a little yeah. different. Oh, really? We do have some um, diet restrictions there. Okay, so we're gonna take out the chicken. It's chicken funny because like on the side? originally yeah. you were making when when you first started making this dish, just it was evolved vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. with chicken. Yeah, and now it's just Merz's Magneto yeah. <laughs> minus the <Wait>. chicken. <laughs> Why we call it Magneto? I don't know. It's I think it's because it's red. This is the first thing I thought of. So, yeah, should I give him the evolution? Yeah, give it. Yeah, okay. give it, Give us the history. So, my mom was vegan one Thanksgiving, and uh, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna make some vegan mac and cheese." So she got something to eat. Well, I was making. I found a recipe online. Uh, you know, every make everything from scratch. The sauce, everything. Nothing is is meat. Right. There's nothing. No dairy. None of that shit. Right. Well, when I was making it, there was like half a rotisserie chicken in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so i was like you know what this might be kind of fire. <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> so i put the chick i like shredded the rotisserie put it in there and yeah sorry mom but you know and it, it, it was kind of weird because it didn't look like mac and cheese like you normally would get thanksgiving like mm-hmm. didn't have the cheese on top crusted none of that so i was like every year i evolved so i added more breadcrumbs and then then i was like all right Let's add some hot Cheetos. So I added hot Cheeto breadcrumbs. Then I was like, all right, let me add actual cheese on top. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> so now that's like the, that's why I call it the MERS Magneto, because it's right. just like it's just a bunch of bullshit just put together. <laughs> <laughs> but the main it's, ingredients are rotisserie chicken and hot Cheetos. Yeah, the main ingredients. Well, I mean, there's more. There's yeah. like, you know, uh the sauce is made from scratch. It's, it has like a bunch of different seasonings, like right. smoked paprika and Use yeast. He goes out of his way to like make vegan uh, vegan cheese. Me, I make the vegan cheese just to destroy it. And yeah. Add actual cheese. Yeah, yeah that's my favorite part. Chicken. It's yeah. described as the vegan mac and cheese with chicken and cheese. Yeah. Like that's, <laughs> that's my shit, dude. But the, the, it works, though. It's, it works so it good. Works. Yeah, it's, it's so that's, good. My, that's my brother's favorite thing on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. So I'm going to make it to, for tomorrow. I'm going to make it for Thanksgiving. And I was thinking today, too. I was like, man, if your brother asked me to do it again for Christmas, I might have to say no. <laughs> this is a lot of fucking. It's a lot, bro. It's yeah. a lot of fucking like mac and cheese for a, for thirty days. You know, this would be a great Patreon segment. So maybe we could pay you to make like make a little video out of it. Okay, shit for sure. Um, <laughs> Mer's Magneto tutorial. Yeah, Ta- yeah, man. I think people would love that. Yeah, I don't Mike know. How to, I, I honestly don't know how to make it just from doing it that's a real chef i have to really i have to go back and look for the instructions on the internet every time (laughs) okay and everything's like tomorrow i'm kind of stressing because i'm hoping that shit is still on oh shit it's tomorrow yeah Yeah. Yeah. oh wow 
Yeah, so okay. I'm hoping I'm hoping uh, that it's still online. Otherwise, I don't know how to make it. <laughs> uh, <sighs> last year might have yeah. been our last one. Yeah, guys. yeah. You, you Yo, gotta, we got to cherish. I got to save it, man. Like, like I have the ingredients saved, but I don't have the instructions. Yeah, screenshot. So. Yeah, freestyle. It. Where you guys? Um, would you guys be mad if I brought a fucking prison burrito? Yeah. If I just made everyone prison burritos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I. It's not that I'd be upset. I wouldn't be upset. Like, upset's the wrong word. I think I'd just be... You just wouldn't eat it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't wouldn't eat it. I would want y'all to have a bite at least. I'll try it, but I'm not going to eat a whole prison burrito for myself. That's crazy. That'd be crazy. That's crazier than Merz and Magneto. That might be more prep than just making something else. Yeah. (laughs) I'm telling you, bro. Look, the move is to buy something. That's not what I'm doing. I'm cooking something, but... The move, like if you got no time or if you just don't want to cook something, you know, KFC got some mashed potatoes and gravy that you can get. Yeah, Yeah, it's true. So it's very true. And nobody will know. Just put it in like a in a, a little ceramic bowl. Yeah. And be like, yo, I made this from scratch. Yeah. I'm, you yeah. think that's you just lying. Yeah, I made it from scratch. <laughs> no, I made it from scratch. That's true. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm about I to guess make you're it from scratch. Nobody gonna know, bro. Yeah. I also wouldn't care. Like yeah. if I like if I can't cook that great, right? Yeah. Uh so like if I were to throw my own Thanksgiving at the house and it's just me cooking. I would probably buy a lot of the stuff and just put it in plates and stuff and just be like, yeah, man, I made all of this. Yeah, so you're a liar. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, would. I would just be like, y'all bought this shit. Yeah. Man. I think he would try and then eventually be like, I bought it. Yeah, here's the church's chicken and here's what I tried to make. Yeah. Yeah. It's the it's the effort that counts, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll that's try it to an extent, but sometimes like, this one I'm surprised the, the Magneto came out good, man, because... I really, when I was making, I was like, man, this don't look like mac and cheese. No, it's because the, the the intention was there. Yeah. The is that love. what it is? Yeah. yeah. I think then, yeah, the intention to serve is there. I already I already know, like, you and y'all take that first bite, you're going to be like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> 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 this, is, this, this is what I wait for every year. Do you, do you get satisfaction from that? <laughs> no, I, I mean, it don't really, it don't uh, really matter to me. Yeah, because I'm just, I'm, I'm eating it too. So yeah. like. Oh, so you got, you have zero satisfaction from us, like enjoying your meal. From enjoying your creation. I think you I'm just too so. focused on it as well. Oh, okay. So I don't really notice y'all enjoying it. I know, I, I know y'all like it because it's gone. It's the first thing gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's That's the first a flex. thing gone. It's the first That's thing gone because people always, like, they set aside some some stuff to take home. Yeah. You know what made it real? Was, I think it was last Thanksgiving when I brought it over and people were excited that it was there. Yeah. yeah. That's <sighs> when it was like, because I remember one, the first time I brought it, like, I think people were kind of like, like oh, Merz made something. something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it, I guess. We'll try it. <laughs> remember that one Thanksgiving I made a, a whiskey cider. Yeah, I remember the oh, slow yeah. cooker. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I, people enjoy that? I think I think so. I didn't even get to eat Thanksgiving that day because we just kept drinking. That was Shit. the day I got pulled into the back, and we just started taking shots. Goose was there. Oh, that was all. Oh, wow. I remember that. Yeah. That was at yeah. Wiz's house, right? Yeah, yeah. I it didn't get to it. eat Thanksgiving. Damn, Damn. We just drank. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we just drank. That was when your dad ended up on the couch. I ate some leftovers. That's about it. We got to edit that out? No, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny moment. I hell forgot. Well, that we have all that on film, actually. Yeah. On just, film? Yeah. That means we got my gumbo on film. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You didn't, I didn't get there. the gumbo. Yeah, you didn't get, man. Next time, next time. No, next time. I'm not making that oh, okay. Again. All right. That takes what like you three, making, three days to make. Uh, I'll keep it a surprise. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I gotta know and see if what I make matches. It'll match. It matches. <laughs> <laughs> We're building around Mercy Magneto. Yeah. Yeah, That's a stable piece. It's a, it's a yeah, it's a centerpiece. It's a centerpiece, man. It's a centerpiece. Yeah. Uh, you want to get into some story time? This one's we got yeah, a man. we got a banger of a of a story this week. Um, this is something that people wanted us to bring back. Surprisingly, I guess people were really enjoying Murr's narrating. So, well, that's the thing. We would have it would have never left if people just spoke up earlier. Yeah. So I'm glad yeah. you guys said something now. I'm glad we said something first. We did. Yeah. Well, we put out the survey. Oh hell yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Steal the credit. Yeah. Yeah. This is crazy. Okay. Crazy man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this happened a few nights ago. My husband and I don't have sex very often, but we finally did. I'm five months pregnant and weird shit is happening to my body. So this didn't help the situation. I wasn't expecting to have sex that night, but it ends up happening anyway. I was totally fine until he stuck it in me. I didn't realize I needed a fart until then. Oh no. Oh man. So... 
I start focusing on holding it in instead of enjoying myself, which made my husband ask me, what's wrong? <laughs> so I tell him, I got a fart. <laughs> He's cool with it and tells me to just let it out. Wanting to, in, wanting, wanting to enjoy myself, I do. Although it's a little embarrassing. But he's laid back and completely unfazed by it. This dude's a G. So we keep going. We're almost done when I realize I have to fart again. Okay. <laughs> Except this time, I try to hold it. Bad choice. Right as we're both climaxing, it sneaks out. <laughs> <laughs> Which causes us to both start laughing, making it come out more and more. Then I realize it feels wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I just sharted. Oh, shit. <laughs> so we're done and laying there, and I'm hysterically laughing. I ask how bad it was because I couldn't bring myself to look. He starts laughing and says, it's pretty bad. I reach down and feel this huge puddle of warm goo. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. Kill me now. He grabs a towel and tries to help. Bless his heart but I tell him to please leave the room. I'm still laughing, but also very embarrassed. I finally get up to assess the damage. <laughs> and it was all cum. <laughs> I hadn't actually crapped myself, which was confusing too because of how constipated baby has made me. I told my husband I thought I had shat myself, which made him laugh for a good five minutes straight. My husband had so much pent up, his load was big enough to make me think I had diarrhea. I shit you not. Whoa. That's a good one, man. I shit, I you, shit not. you not. That was a good one at the end. That should not. be the name of the fucking story. Who what said, a plot twist. Who yeah, I that? did not know that. I didn't read all the way through, actually. So this is the first time I got all the way through. Yeah. What did you say, Jerm? Who sent that? I don't know. I don't think she wants to be known. It's anonymous. <laughs> That's a crazy that. story. That's a crazy. Imagine thinking that you sharted. That was well written. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was well written. That was well read. Yeah, that was yeah, well read. read. <laughs> well, I gotta read these, man. This is crazy, dude. I think you're the best reader out of, out of all of us. Yeah, but it's just crazy because, like, fuck. You're the most animated. Okay. Thankfully, it wasn't Shart. And I still think the husband would have thought it was funny if it was. Yeah, I thought so, too. He sounded, he sounds like a He sounded like a, a good sport. That shit would be a funny-ass story. I would not care at all if that happened. You got Sharted on. Yeah, like, I think That's it'd crazy. be endearing. <laughs> like, so, you're comfortable enough <laughs> to just let it out on me. I don't know if that was the case. No. Nah. Okay. Nah. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. He said it was pretty bad, so I'm thinking. What was pretty bad? She wasn't looking. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, she just felt it. Just you know, it probably feels the same. Wait, so she didn't shart? Nah, she didn't. It was just nut. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, but it was so low. much. Yeah, so much yeah. to think you sharted yourself. God That's damn. A lot, man. Was... But you can't tell the difference between what's coming out, which hole. Well, maybe. Maybe with like pregnant body and like yeah, the yeah, whole we don't, I mean, That's the thing. We don't know how it is, man. Yeah, I don't. We don't know how I can't is, speak man. on behalf. She did say she she prefaced it by saying weird shit is happening to my body. Another yeah. good one. That could be yeah, another title. Weird, weird there we shit go. is happening to my body. Foreshadow. That could be the title of the thing. Uh, yo, hey, crazy. Um, uh, glad you got through it. Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah. or her? No, her. Well, oh, okay. I'm just speaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, shit, if you've been through that too, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, this is, yeah, this is a wild story, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, shout out to the woman. And I'm glad, I hope the baby was released safely. Yeah. I don't think she's only five months. Okay. Well, we don't know also when this yeah. story was written. Let me so see. It doesn't say. It says, well, just, she says she is five months. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it happened maybe last week. We're really getting into yeah. the nitty gritty yeah. of when it was posted. Last week. <laughs> yeah. When did this happen? Cool. <laughs> I need to find out. When was this dated? Uh, we asked some questions on our Q&A. There, you know, it's funny. One, one thing that stood out wasn't even a question, but somebody was like, why do you guys why do you guys make fun of Murr so bad? He's the best He's the best one out of the pod. Who said that? I fuck with that one. <laughs> deleted I deleted it. But I think that's the... I deleted it. I think that's the point, though. I mean, not that I'm the best, but the point is uh, that, like, I'm the best. I think it's because I'm the oldest, right? And mm -hmm. usually, like, I don't know, Filipino culture, the eldest one is always like the kuya is always looked up, right? Yeah. But you guys just fucking roast me, like y'all chop me down like a big ass tree and just keep chopping my legs. Boom, boom, boom. Is that what it is? Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm the best. I just I be stuttering all the time and shit. I don't think there is a best. I think we all compliment yeah. each other. I think yeah. the show doesn't run unless. 
we're all here. Yeah, right? we got our own. Everyone got their own vibe. Yeah, we all bring something. My bad. <laughs> That's what germs brings to the table. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, there isn't a like. Obviously, people can have favorites. Yeah. But that's just you know. Yeah. There's no best. Like, how are we measuring what the best is? You don't. You don't. Like you don't. the the big Mers moment might not happen unless we all like serve it up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Also, why we always get on Mers? I think it, I think that is what it is because we've looked up to him for so long that it's time for me my downfall. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's time. time for my what downfall, comes bro. up must come down. Yeah, yeah that's down, true, man. Bro. That's true, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's time. Everybody. Also, everybody gets their turn. Everybody gets yeah. roasted. Oh yeah. It might be a little one sided sometimes. Like it might just be Mers that day, or me that day, yeah. or you that day. No, but I feel yeah. like you, Mers out of all of us has the most days where it's just mostly him getting clowned. <laughs> but it's, I feel like he enjoys it. Sometimes yeah. he does things on purpose. Yeah, to, like, to get, or at clowned. least it feels like yeah. you do it on purpose. Sometimes, yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. He like plays it up a little bit because yeah. he's like he he wants us to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean. I could get on all y'all right now. I, I mean, yeah, that, we're you not know? doubting that. Like, Jay looks like he Here makes his go. pants in reverse. <laughs> inside out. Here we go, man. <laughs> you, you look like the Nike Steve Jobs. <laughs> you look like Bulma. Bulma? <laughs> Who's Bulma, bro? Go look it up. B-U-L-M-A. <laughs> How you spell it? Bulma. B-U-L-M-A. Oh, my God. Bulma Gaete, man. Yo. Who's This? Bulma? Let me see. She's from Dragon Ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. the hair. I can see the yeah, hair. Yeah. You should wear a yellow uh, dress tomorrow. I bet. My bad. I didn't mean to clown y'all like that. No, that's that. cool, man. I know you had to nah, get it out. Nah, clown, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, clown. That's nothing. Yeah, but your fit is fire like the cream socks. Here it is. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Shields again. <laughs> Damn. That's the Shields? Yeah, shout out to the Shields. Yeah. Endure. Let's go. You know? Damn. Sponsored by Endure. Yeah. I can't wait. I don't know if we're allowed to disclose this, but I can't wait for the athletic socks to come out. Yeah, they're they're coming out soon. Yes, they're coming Super out when these come out. Oh, you said you yeah. did your your training yeah, test. Yeah, them, I right? fucking yeah. I ran, I ran, I squatted. I did a lot. Yeah, I ran, did legs and stretch and shit. It felt so good. Yeah, yeah. thank you to my shields. Feet, yeah, my feet felt so good. Usually, sometimes my feet begin numb when I run in certain socks. Mm -hmm. This one, my feet don't get numb. So, yeah. uh, first question of the Q and A. I want to go to a music party. But my social anxiety is high in those situations. Please help. And I'm not sure if this person meant a concert or literally like a, a party where they're going to play music. And I'm assuming there's going to be a dance floor. Or Yeah, I have no idea what yeah, they meant by I, that one. I guess that's what uh, I, mean, I think that's what it would more so be. A like a party, party where they're like. Where the purpose is to come together for the music. Like a boiling room. Right. Yeah. yeah Wait, yeah. what is it? A boiler, boiler room. Boiler, boiler, boiler room. room? <laughs> Fuck, man. Yo, fucking God boiling damn. crab, yo. <laughs> boiling room. <laughs> fucking fuck. <laughs> the what boiler you, makers. Anyways, what it's like you, going to like someone's set and like you're just hanging out. I think that's what it is. Or maybe like a house party where yeah, they're going to be playing some music. It's a music release party. I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we can give blanket advice for all of them. What do you think, Merz? We, me and Jay wrote down some answers, so we, I guess we can go um, second. What is it? <laughs> Let's just first define with. it as a party with music and a dance floor. That's what yeah, I'm okay, okay, okay. That's how I answer. And it, then yeah. she, she, or he, or she is saying what? They have social anxiety. Their social anxiety is high in those situations. Please Do you have help. any tips? So I'll give you experience. Like when I was in high school and I did go to a party because I was like always shy. Um, luckily, like my boy was usually DJing the party, so I would just be behind the DJ and just there, helping him with records. But if I had to step away or if I went to a, a music party, uh, I went straight to the kitchen and looked for food. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So look for food. Yeah, I always go and look for food. Okay. Went to a hollow, par a hollow party, a Halloween party, which was kind of similar. They had a DJ. Um, I didn't really have a costume. Um, this is a long time ago. And I went, again, went straight to the kitchen to see if there was any food. Okay. So Merz's advice. Maybe go to the kitchen if they have one. Yeah, get like get a, get yourself a drink or eat some food to kind of like get your mind off of being. Oh, there. there's like party food. Yeah, party oh, food. Oh, okay, okay. Food. Not like in the refrigerator. Sit like uh, that's what look I for look for like chips or okay. whatever the thing is. Yeah, and then or a drink. Look for yeah. something to snack on. I guess. Yeah, yeah keep like, your hands occupied. Yeah, maybe? keep keep. Yeah. yeah, get a pour a drink up and then what I usually do after that is I just stand by the wall. 
Okay. Yeah, just yeah. in my wall and exactly. sit, and then and with the music, just vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't really go out there and dance, so, so like I'll just chill and just, you know. Yeah, I feel that vibe Jay? that way. Yeah. Jizz. Um, what did I write down again? Oh yeah. So for anxiety, what really helped me with going to uh, social events like this is just understanding that no one's really actually there paying attention to me that that uh, as much as I think. So I do the same thing. I pull up. I just post up on the wall like a wallflower. I definitely have to get a drink though because I do have idle hands. And you just vibe to the music. You either sing along to the ones you know, or you do your little small movements to the songs that you you feel like you have a. a a feel for and that's about it you make friends or you stick to yourself i mean i i've by now i've gone to so many things just by myself i just like i can just hang out by myself yeah same yeah concerts party whatever that's what i do <laughs> who when, wants to go next when, when, when you, <laughs> i just just trying i'm just basking in the moment here here's some, here's some advice if you get a drink like if you if you make yourself like an alcoholic beverage don't like scarf it down. Nah, like, yeah, just you, let it yeah. touch your lip. You might embarrass yourself. Yeah, just let it touch your lip. Yeah, that's what I wrote. I mean, I, the first thing I wrote was if you can have a friend there to to help you out. I think that's probably your yeah. number one. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, communicate with your friend that you are socially uh, feeling awkward in those kind of situations, and maybe they could guide you through it. But if that's not accessible to you, then I think having a drink or something in your hand de- that definitely helps me. Yeah. Even if I'm around people, I still feel like my hands need to do something. So I like to have a, a water or something in my hands to like keep my hand, my hands busy. Um, and then just zone in on the music. You know, if it's a music party specifically to like listen to music, then just zone in on the music. It does make it a little difficult if you're not feeling the music. Yeah, that makes <laughs> oh, it yeah, difficult. Facts. Facts. But it's like, yeah. Yeah. If you are though, and let's say it's like a DJ type thing, just hang out in front of the DJ booth. Yeah, like, yeah usually. Yeah, yeah. Just watch them. Or talk then, to the DJ. Usually that's, you know, just hang by them and just be yeah. like, yo, I fuck with this record. Yeah. yeah. Or if there's like a bartender, you just hang out with the bartender. Like, yeah. 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 I think one thing you said though that's really helpful is nobody is there to like really focus on other people because everybody's always worried. Everybody is caught up in themselves, mm-hmm, worrying yeah. about how they look, worrying about yeah. how they're coming off. It's the same with any situation like the gym or being anywhere in pub, going to the movies, wherever. Like, no, everybody's worried about themselves because they're wondering how they're coming off to other people. They're worried about other people looking at them. Right. Like nobody's like ever worried about one person in the crowd. Like, oh, what are they? What are they doing? Yeah. Like yeah. nobody thinks like that. I don't think. <clears throat> um. So I think if you really can like cement that mindset when going to situ- social situations, I think that'll that'll help you out. Because that's what helped me out at the gym. Like when I first started going to the gym by myself, I really had to like drill it in my head that nobody's here to pay attention to me plus if there are people there like i don't know like uh singling you out for some reason that's not really someone who i would want to be concerned with Mm. personally anyway like i don't want to like we probably wouldn't be friends right yeah fuck yeah fuck them dickheads i'm looking at yeah they're just dickheads yeah what what do you do germ to battle anxiety i don't really have so I know I'm already weird, like socially weird, but I don't really have a social anxiety like that. Got you. I just know I'm weird and I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I feel like when Jerem yeah. comes in the room, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, and then gives him <laughs> dab and shit. Yeah. So like, yeah. he's already got it made. Yeah. Especially like yeah. the, especially the older people. Like yeah. when I go like to like your functions and oh, shit. Oh yeah. Everyone yeah. knows who Jerem is. Yo, Which is cool. you know what we should do? We should make a video of every type of person at a party. Like a skit? Yeah. yeah all the types of people. That would be hilarious. Yeah, you know, I think, what I, mean? you'd be, I think you'd be a really, I think you'd be a great main actor for that. Damn, <laughs> you said you want to make a video, and then when you, I said nah, we should, we make should, it. yeah, yeah, we could be the production, and you, nah, could be, nah, everyone could be in the video. It'd be funny as fuck if everyone yeah. was in it. You don't see how dent like the Denzel qualities that you have, do you? I'm not an actor, bro. I, I remember, no idea how to remember, act. remember, when I was making my short film, yeah. in college, I called up Murs. I was like, "Yo, man, I want you to be the main character." He's like, "I'm not Denzel." <laughs> Yo, wait, which was, one was this? Was this the phone movie? Yeah. Oh my god. I wanted, Denzel. I wanted him to be, I wanted him to be yo. my main character. I still have the script. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm just not an me. actor, yo. Like, yeah. Like, I, I, I feel like I could be one when I'm, when I'm feeling it, but when the camera's on, like, I just don't know how to act. Like, I feel it. Like, if you were to give me like a scenario, I'm gonna be terrible at it. Yeah. And I give it all I got, you know. Yeah. Uh, next question: Best lessons you've learned from each other. 
I can go first because I, I, I took the Bit. time to. What I learned, I wrote down one for all of you. What I learned from MERS, be true to your word and always do what you say you're going to do. That's something I learned from MERS. Another thing that I didn't write but that I that I do believe in is uh, is hard work. Because I think MERS is a very hardworking person. I think that rubbed off on me. And um, just seeing the way he operates and gets things done, it's uh, it's really inspiring. So um, that's what I learned from MERS. Jizz, how to be there for people. When people Ooh. need Jay, Jay always shows up. Yeah, for sure. Um, and he knows how to listen. If you if you need someone to listen to you, Jay, Jay yeah. knows how to listen. Yeah. yeah. It's because uh, I don't talk. Facts. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> that helps. Facts. Um, another thing too is problem solving. Uh, Jay's Facts. really good at deconstructing problems and solving them logically, except when they're his own problems. <laughs> Fuck. It's a gift and a curse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty fire. Man. But Jay, I that's feel like when it, when you bring a problem to Jay and it's not his own, he'll know how to like look at it from uh, a bird's eye view. Oh, fuck, that's really true, man. And he'll be able to like help you solve it logically. Yeah. But if he, if it's his own shit, he's like, help. like classic, like not following my own advice. Type, exactly, type yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and germ is to be free, uh, and to not yeah, take yeah. things so seriously sometimes, and that everything is cool. That's um, definitely yeah. germ for sure. So yeah. that's what I learned from you guys. That's nice. Tight. Yeah, man. That was very endearing. Yeah. Enduring. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> I can go next if you guys aren't ready. Uh. Sick. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. You farted on fucking my mic. <laughs> I'm <getting> mad if <laughs> I burp in the mic. I can't believe that shit, dude. I just shook my head. <laughs> yeah, you got mad at me for burping on the mic. You've been farting on the fucking mic. Okay, well, so if you if you think about it, if you think about it, then then we should be able to do that. If you get mad at me when I fart on the mic, I should be able to get mad at you for fart. For did I get mad at you farting on the mic? Yes, I got mad at you. F- yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> the hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> All right then. Okay. Yeah. You did it first though. <laughs> Merz gets so mad. Even if we're not on like recording and ju- I just fart in general. Yeah, like this is not like a bit on the yeah. show. This is like, real life. <laughs> he'll really pull over and, and lecture me. <laughs> pull over, lecture you, open all the doors and windows. Yeah. Bad dude. Bad man. <laughs> it's so fucking bad, dude. It smells like World War One. There you bro. go. <laughs> What did you learn? Respect from all, all the soldiers, bro. It just smells like World War One, bro. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> no disrespect, yo. Respectfully, respectfully. Okay, I didn't do it. <laughs> what What I learned in boating school is. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking at some World War One pictures right now. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, this is what it smells like, bro. <laughs> it was bad. Some of the some of the soldiers had lice because they'd be stuck in the um, the uh, the trenches, the, the trenches for so long. They'd have like lice and they'd I be there it, for man. months. Bro. Of all the things they got was no. lice. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like gangrene. Like well, that too. It was like okay. gangrene. There's dead bodies in there. People okay. got lice. Like there's so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing that I learned that stuck out. <laughs> So you didn't learn anything from us. You just learned something from World War One. <laughs> Good to know, man. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> Is it Veterans Day coming up? <laughs> no, it passed. It just oh, passed. shit. My bad. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, veterans. <laughs> <laughs> Respect for you, dude. My family's yeah. in the military. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That don't mean you were in the military. <laughs> It's like seeing your friend's black. <laughs> he was in the Perump army. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Vote for Perump. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Perump, bro. Holy yeah, shit. Dude. He's at the Perump tower. <laughs> Yo. The Perump, bro. The fucking Perump of Pum Pum, man. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Ooh, right, what you <laughs> learned, Jay? If anything at all. Okay. Uh, from you is I learned uh, consistency. Mm. So through Ooh. the through the podcast, I learned how to be consistent and that, you know, like a lot of times when you're like listening to things from like your favorite creators or like uh, motivational shit, they're just like, well, the best thing that 
uh, I can say is just be consistent. Yeah. And there's one thing of like listening to that and actually doing it and seeing, seeing is believing in this situation. Yeah. Like, yeah. You see it and then you just, it just uh, manifests itself really. Yeah. So I learned consistency. I'm, so, I'm breathing hard for that. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I was breathing heavy from laughing. <laughs> oh, shit. Go to the gym, dude. <laughs> Yo, all my real laughers know it's like that. Yo. <laughs> Y'all don't really be laughing if you're not I'm breathing. Feel, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. I feel you. I'll be doing it. From MERS, I learned uh, professionalism. Okay. <laughs> so, so he Mers was uh the really like the first one to pave the way, not for just us, but for like a lot of things in the city. So he's like Damn. maybe mm. like see things behind um like how the Brooklyn Bowl actually works or like shit like that and like knows how to speak to the actual people that will let you through these certain doors. Mm. So okay. I learned uh stuff like that and from Germ I learned to just be yourself. Like like mm. what Mer- uh Wiz said is pretty much in the same vein, like is just be cool to be be you. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, I guess I'll go next. Uh for Jern, man. Um one thing that uh I learned from Jerm is when you when you do something, you do it a hundred percent. Like there's no half ass in it, there's no seventy five percent. Like when Jerm gets involved in something, this dude is in the books. Like he's like in and out. After like a month, this dude knows everything about it. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like the fucking computer he built. Like he knew how to do that. Like he learned. He built that shit. Mm. Um, motorcycles. Fucking before he got one, on one or bought one, he fucking knew everything about it. All that type of shit. So <clears throat> hella research. Yeah, it's like with, before you do something or you know understand it, research, but go in a hundred. Mm. Don't yeah. just be like, yeah, man, I'm into this. And then, you know, yeah. you're not really into like, it. Like, get nerdy about it. Yeah, get yeah, nerdy get about nerdy. it. You know, like, and, and you know what? <clears throat> I want to elaborate more because anthropologists do this when they study different cultures. They they live that culture's lifestyle as much yeah. as possible so they can understand it. That's how they study. So, like, um, that's one thing I learned from Germ. Um yeah. Sounds like they're doing work in they're the, doing some okay, work. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Else, yeah. Okay. So uh from Wiz, um, I know like the biggest thing I learned from Wiz is like, man, just pride, like like having the pride to do things that are like you no know, like I don't even think it's pride is what the word I'm looking for. Like no matter what people think, like do it because you want to do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so I don't know if that's pride or not, but it's like he doesn't care what people think. Uh, do it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, because mm-hmm. I know I I can always be that type of person who always thinks about like what other people think yeah. if I'm going to do something. Um, to see, uh, basically not if I'm going to do it. It's just more if it's going to be good enough. Mm. You know, w- like Wiz just does it. You know, if it's good, it's yeah. good. If not, and if people like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. You just do it because yeah. you want to do it. Yeah, that's the thing. Um. And with Jay, man, uh, like like y'all said, man, he's like really there for people and stuff. But one of the biggest things I learned from Jay is like, um, yeah, that's a good one, man. I, I, this whole time I've been thinking about about Jay, but that one was like the biggest one. Is like what he like he just he's there for for everyone, man. And and like legit, I'll ask Jay to if he could do or help something. Like last second, bro, yeah. and he's boom, yeah, he'll, right he'll there do it for you. Yeah, like, and if I call him, like he picks up the phone. Mm-hmm. I don't think Jay or if, or if he doesn't pick up, he answers it like a di- like five minutes later. You know what I'm saying? And then um, uh, what else? Um, just like uh, it, it, I know you said be yourself to germ. You said that to germ. Be like being yourself. Yeah, just like yeah. uh. <clears throat> Like whatever you want to do, just, it's just yeah. Because I feel like you're for sure like yourself, t- like yeah, you yourself. like you like you like set trends. Um, I I feel like I'm always copying. Like I I think I don't know how many times I I I like we're together and I'll be like, 
all right, man, I'm going to start dressing like Jay. Because, <laughs> like, he, you know what I mean? But, like, it's just it's Jay style. And I feel like people are starting to see it and recognize, uh, like, his persona and uh, who he is. And it, he it, people are starting to respect it. And it's dope because I got friends who are, like, uh, talk to me about Jay. You know what I mean? They talk about all y'all, to be real. And it's always respect. Yeah. But it's dope like when they talk about Jay because like Jay is the quiet one, you know. It always mm-hmm. seems like he's um just standoffish. Just yeah. Not standoffish, but you're just quiet, like o- almost shy almost. Like people yeah. might think you're shy. On the spec. But they yeah, they think you're so <laughs> dope when you do some. Um That's nice to hear. Yeah. We all got all <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> Then I go rambling again, bro. <laughs> go rambling. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bleep that so we can get monetized. Yo. Yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. We had to say something, man. Oh, uh, the buildup was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man. I felt it coming, man. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was looking at y'all. I don't know if y'all were like, if it was getting too deep or if y'all were like, dude, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now, let me be clear. If you guys are like going on and it and it feels like you're solo for a minute, like I don't I'm not I'm not ever thinking like hurry up with this shit. <laughs> I feel like Wiz is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this yeah, dude yeah. is like in my ear like 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all I'm thinking about, all I'm thinking about, bro, is this morning when I was like, if you guys want to look at the questions and prepare something. <laughs> I'm going to just freestyle. I'm going to just freestyle. Okay, and there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying that yeah. there's anything wrong with your answer. Yeah. But I'm saying if you if we would have thought about it a yeah. little bit. <laughs> It was a fire freestyle, but very lengthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he said in his mind, he's like, yeah, yeah. He's just saying, yeah, but in his mind, he's like, I told this dude. <laughs> I told, I told him, this dude. I told him to look at it. Actually, I sent that text specifically for this dude. <laughs> Low key. Oh my I god. did. Well, because I knew Jay was gonna prepare, <clears throat> but um, <laughs> yeah. I definitely didn't prepare. Yeah. There's nothing in undermining. He even put my name with the with, with the, the little toggle. Try to make it as easy <laughs> as <yeah>. possible. <laughs> Just type here, my boy. I gave him a little drop down too. <laughs> he didn't even. <laughs> I tried to get yeah. Fuck! I tried to make a joke. <laughs> a little drop down joke. Yeah. You got anything German? Should we move? Should we? Uh... Um, I could do it. But I'll do it quick. Okay. Uh, one thing I learned. I'll start with Jizz first. One thing I learned from Jizz was like, uh. Is is creativity and like attention to detail? Mm. That's one thing I learned from him. Damn, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so. attention to detail. One thing I learned from Wiz is uh, execution. Mm. Fucking execute no matter what. Like kind of mm. what you were saying. Mm. Just like fuck it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, at least it's out there. Type shit. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. and routine. This dude always got a good routine going oh, yeah. on. So and yeah. that inspires me to do it. Sometimes I try to do a routine, but it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's all good and we try and the MERS is um the way he carries himself mm. Mm. definitely learning that from him so when I'm like outside like I I think about MERS like I gotta carry myself like, let's do it that's a good answer you know? man. My bad. I'm, 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 no I'm bitch, only, bro no I'm only I'm only laughing because it outside like every time I think about when we say like outside I think that like we're about to go play <laughs> yeah me too yeah I hear <laughs> that outside. I hear the word play so that's why I like laughing and my ears like, get bigger <laughs> <laughs> You, you want to go, go play? <laughs> want to go outside? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Park? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Fire, man. That's fire. Yeah, that's great answers. All right, next question. What should I do if I'm in love with my best friend, but she doesn't feel the same way? LJ, write this? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. God damn. I'm just kidding. I'm no. just kidding. Nah, you want to go first, Jay? Uh, Yeah. What did I write? <laughs> oh. Well, now it sounds, I guess I didn't read it properly, but it's, it sounds like they already know, right? The best friend? Yeah, they already know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think if they already know and they and they were already straight up and not reciprocating the same love back, I think uh, you need to decide for yourself whether you can be emotionally, um, like you can separate your emotions and still remain friends or you still want to go for it, which I don't feel like if they already said no, you, you should just be trying uh, all the time because that could get really annoying it feel like 
I feel like. But uh, yeah, you have to decide right then and there what you have to do with your own feelings. And yeah. uh, I think there's nothing wrong with being friends with someone that you feel romantically involved, that you want to be romantically involved with. with. <laughs> you just <laughs> <laughs> he's, still he's too zipped still, up right now. He's still, he's still out of breath. I'm so happy, dog. I'm always in a straight jacket right wanna, now. <laughs> I want to laugh more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, that is the J stance, right? right here there. we go. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, I, I agree. It's, it's. I feel like it's tough. Yes, of course, you could still be friends with somebody you want to be romantically involved with, but it, it's, it's tough. For at least for me, it would be tough to like separate the two. Yeah. yeah. To like, if you really do feel for this person, but they don't feel the same for you. Like, and, and you, especially after telling them and you like know for sure that they don't feel the same. Yeah. It'd be tough to like continue the relationship. I don't after. know. I feel like uh-huh. it's, it's easy. It's easier to know because then now you could, you can move on. Yeah. Rather yeah. than just like let shit yeah. linger. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's for sure easier to know. Um, but I do feel like it's it's hard to like move on from that and like to see them and not have those same feelings. Yeah, so. I feel like this this happens. I feel like that's like a high school ass <laughs> story. Yeah, it's for sure. Uh, but you know, after a few months, you just come back together and be friends again. Yeah. Also, I think understanding that there's like plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like not to be hung up on one like- person that doesn't feel the same <clears throat> mm-hmm. for you. But I don't think that's the case because they said best friends, so I'm assuming that they were they grew up like best friends and ended Maybe. up falling in love. Is that what it is? Well, it's one sided. One, yeah, one's falling in love. Right. Well, one one is falling in love. Yeah. With the best, like on some uh, my girl shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I guess. I guess there's something you can do, right? Like, obviously, I would. I'm pretty sure the per the other person that doesn't feel the same would still want to be friends. Right. right. Um. Like, what are you gonna do? Drop your friend because. Uh, you're, she's not feeling you right right like, right right so it's tough i mean i'm not saying it's yeah. not tough it's, yeah. i'm sure it's a tough situation it's never to really be. a right or wrong answer yeah i don't really know what the move is I, I feel like if i was in that situation i'd probably distance myself yeah from the yeah. front yeah from the friend yeah. i feel like it, i would also it's probably fucked tough. up to do but it's just like yo i got these feelings for you and i ain't trying to <coughs> fuck shit up i ain't trying yeah. to make no moves. i don't want to make it weird between you and yeah. i by so may, yeah maybe distance yourself try other fish in the sea yeah. And then maybe later on talk to her and see what's up. Yeah. Who knows? Um, I feel like with uh emotions at least, like uh man, if I'm trying to answer it for them, um <clears throat> my best advice would probably because I don't want them to lose their relationship at all. Yeah. But like knowing me, like if if uh, I would probably just have to distance myself. Mm-hmm. And who knows if I ever make it back or not, but um, I don't. I don't want to advise that because I feel like if it's their best friend or whatever, it could, it could be. Oh, there's a, probably a lot more they've done together, and they're probably real tight. Yeah, and it would hurt for the person who isn't into them like that because to them it might come out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. It's like what the heck, like, and then they lost a friend. Yeah. <clears throat> so, well, I would I would say like. Man, you're just going to have to really do uh, This is going to be a growing uh, experience for you, a learning experience. And if you want to stick around with them, you're probably going to have to respect that they don't see you that way. And um, do your best to like separate your emotions from them. Yeah. And don't don't do things based off of your emotions. Like just because they don't like you the same way or love you the same way, don't treat them worse. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't have um, any resentment towards don't them. Don't have res- resentment yeah. towards them because it's not their fault. Yeah. Right? It's your fault. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Type shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> your fault the whole time, bro. I'm sorry to tell you, man. No, it's not. It's okay. no one's fault, man. Just it's no one's fault. She's just you not feeling you, you, bro. Control, yeah. You can't control yeah. your feelings yeah. you when can't. they just come yeah. up, man. Like, and it, as yeah. soon as you start showing resentment, bro, it shit look It's going to yeah. be bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, don't do want to leak. Like, that's why I'm like trying to like give good <clears> advice. Cause yeah. I don't think there that, is like a one one thing. To, like, it's just, you know, you just got to separate the two. and yeah, separate uh, the two and do what you feel is best for you. Yeah. Because you don't want to fall yourself into a depression. You don't want to be unhappy. Yeah. So, like, if it's tough for you to be around them and uh, you can't control your feelings, you might have to, like, slowly distance yourself and try yeah. to play it from the outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Play Until you can come back inside. 
<laughs> yep, from hey, playing. Yo, yeah. <laughs> hey yo, I think I sharded. <laughs> yeah, hey, I don't know, man. That's that's good tough, luck. Dude. That's good tough. luck. We good wish luck. you the best. Good and luck, yeah. Keep us updated. And if you, I guess, if there's somebody in the comments or that's watching the premiere that has been in a similar situation and has gotten out of it. Let us know. Maybe yeah. maybe they could find yeah. advice from somebody in the yeah. chat. I'm like, curious what that yeah. advice is. That's, yeah. yeah, that's a pretty hard like, yeah. thing I, to be in. I feel like it's pretty common. I think the mm. best play is to always treat them how you've always been. Yeah. I and mean. then just try to control your feelings. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Be, Summed up, I think that's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Being an adult way. about it, bro. Don't be a kid. Yeah, yeah be an adult don't about it. be a fucking it. baby yeah. about it. Be a fucking baby. Sorry. Everything's all right. It's <laughs> not like the movies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last question. If you guys were given the chance to switch bodies with each other, whose body <laughs> would you choose and why? <laughs> what is it? I'm going with Don't Wiz. Don't look. <laughs> I'm going with Wiz, bro. You guys made eye contact. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you he said it off mic. I already know who I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Wiz stripper body. <laughs> Say something, man. Don't be looking at me like that. I'm trying to figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure something out. Because this is it's a, it's a race. It's close to between you and Germ. <laughs> Fuck, man. You look, like, Cause Germ, you look like you're trying to buy one of us yeah, right now. It's, <laughs> it's, which one of us? <laughs> little auction hand. I'm trying to figure out which one of y'all. Because Germ, dude, got like... He got... Fuck, this sounds so wild. <laughs> he got that... I don't even want to say it. <laughs> he got that young body. <laughs> yeah. He's he a tall that, Yeah, he got the young, he got the slim. Yeah. Um, man, and uh the hand like nice hand side. <laughs> <laughs> he could do anything with his hair. That's probably I'm gonna go with Jern, because he could do anything with his hair works. Like you and you tell us this, I think you could do more to hair, but you said you go you got one hairstyle. <laughs> Dude's, dude's been wearing a hat every day for like six months. <laughs> and he got the same hairstyle. Bro, he, he be getting haircuts and then put the hat on. Listen, no, not to disrespect, not to disrespect my uh, stylist. Stylist. Hair stylist. I, I didn't mean to say it like that. Yeah, this is not, a personal yeah. no. decision. Uh, I'll I'll wear the new hair for like a week and a half, and then after that, I'll throw, put throw on the hat. That's normal, though. Yeah, that's normal. yeah. Throw reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. That's the play. But to go back to the question, I'm gonna choose Germ because one, he's the youngest. Yeah, he's the most durable out of all of us. Yeah, yes, at least is. for the time that's being. Great. I mean, you know, as yeah. as you age, you get a little bit less durable. It's true. Well, that's why we in the gym, bro. That's why we're in the gym. Uh, so I, yeah. Um, obviously, I like my body the best, but <laughs> not like not the aesthetic aesthetically. Like, I think everybody would prefer to be in their own body over over choosing somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he got nice hands. I think I might choose. <laughs> nice I hands, want man. those hands. Nice yeah, hands. man. I kind of fucked this up. <laughs> I would choose German. He's the youngest, you know, yeah. and he can do he yeah. can do whatever he wants to. He could, and he's the tallest. He's the tallest, yeah. man. He probably has the fattest cock. <laughs> <laughs> we know who has that, bro. Yeah, I can eat a lot of cheese. He's not bro. here. Oh. <laughs> who? You don't know talk about? Oh yeah, please, please, John, please. dude. John. <laughs> what? What? Jay, who would you choose? <laughs> bleep that. Too. I gotta bleep everything in this episode. <laughs> German has so much to bleep. Uh, I would also choose Germ. My reasons were, was because uh, I've been on the show talking about like I wish I could eat more. And after seeing Germ push Chow down, down 50, like I want to be able to like eat hella shit. Yeah, well, so, also the next day, man. I, he the wasn't. next day, that's when I fucking uh, worked out in them socks. I ran hella and I did, I did a crazy ass leg day. So I feel like that's why. That's see, why that I sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to get your ass in the gym. You could do the same shit. <laughs> well, if he's had your body, he'd probably do it. Yeah, see. Yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about Jerm? What'd you say? I say Wiz. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because he wants a strip or something. <laughs> yeah, I, want a, I want a stripper body. You think I have a stripper body? Yeah, dude, the way you move is crazy, man. Do, do, oh, so man. it's like a little nice. strip right now. Yeah. Like, no, you, man. No, no this nice, dude was poking dude. his butt yeah. out. Like, yeah, yeah really. Yeah, he that butt out. Yeah. You had no shirt on. Like, I know if I put Genuine, right? Like, the pony joint right now. You would you would go crazy. Yeah, that body. Play it real quick. Like, oh wait, we no, might no, be no, able to get no, no, that thing. Yeah. Damn, no one's yeah. gonna fuck with this, Jay. Yeah. I don't think anyone wants my blood issues. All right, if I play <laughs> if I That's play true. football, I want Mer's body. Mm. Okay, 
Yeah. I no, I would that. still, if I we're playing football, it. I'd still choose Germ's body because he's probably the most agile. Okay. He, could be he does have that seat, shoulder man. thing, but like, yeah. I can yeah. do it. <laughs> Every fucking five minutes, Germ's just like doing the I gotta yeah. fucked up shoulder, man. He's doing the shoulder mill. That, that Cam Newton joint. That's what grandma used to do a lot. She used to do this shit a lot. Yeah, now look at her, dude. Yeah. <laughs> now look at her, look at me. I'm doing the same shit. She gave shit, it to all of us because my us. shoulder's fucked up too. <laughs> Is it the same shoulder? Left, yeah. Yeah, mine's left. Yo, y'all. They both do this. Yeah. After shoulder yeah. day, yeah, which is today. So well, one yeah. thing that I don't like about my body, I ain't got no ass, so it looks weird. I wish I had more butt. I feel like Wiz all of y'all are ass, insecure though. about yeah. your ass. I ain't got no ass. Wiz got the ass. Wiz got bro. a nice. I'll watch this dude. Uh, spot this dude when he squats. Yeah, man, you that the, shit is yeah. perfect. You got, got a wagon. nice ass, but it smells. <laughs> that shit is perfect, dog. <laughs> Like it, it's got to be balanced. Dog. Yeah, you can't just have yeah. a nice ass and a good smelling ass, and it smells good still. Like, yeah, no. like that doesn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> like you know how like girls in high school write their W's like this, like the big bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like Wiz's ass. Yo, right? yeah. W ass girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got. Man. Doesn't get it. He just, not, he just not he doesn't get it. Yeah. W ass. Yeah. What's that? Thank you guys. For- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna explain it. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to those who've served. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Peace. I'm going to get hit by all the militarians, dude. Militarians? Yeah, they're going to hit me, dude, on the comments for sure.